Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my updated Bible and Life Planner system. So the last time I showed you this video at the start of the year, this is what I was using. I had this gorgeous pink planner, it's a weekly spread which was dateless so I've got some weekly goals, to-do list, habit tracker and then every day of the week I've got a system and then my notes at the back were for work and personal things with dividers so this was working for a while and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the system however it's just a little bit bulky for my current situation that I'm in I need to move around a bit and I keep forgetting to carry this with me because it's so big and it doesn't actually fit in my regular bag so I needed something a little bit more portable and so this is the method I came up with so I have a brand new planner now and it's the same size as my Bible that I carry around with me. So now I just need to have these two things in my bag and I'm finding that this is working. I'm remembering to carry everything and I'm liking this system so far. So these are just basically pencil cases. They came in a two pack, nothing too expensive or anything like that. One fits my Bible really nicely and the other one fits my new planner. Now this planner is also rose, rose gold because I think I have a slight obsession with the colour rose gold and this is what it looks like it's by Clever Fox and this doesn't come with it this is something I purchased and this is what it looks like and you get a dateless calendar which is brilliant that works so well for me as someone who changes up their system quite regularly and I don't like waste I don't want to start a planner and then be redundant for the rest of the year because it's dated so I always only buy dateless ones and this is great so you can put your own month so you can skip a few months doesn't matter put the days in and then it has for the second ribbon it has weekly to-do lists and then whatever you want to use it for so it's got the top priorities for the week habit tracker again and a space for notes and this is where I write my daily to-dos so here is an example of recent week I will blur it out so you can't see all my personal things <laughs> but basically for the habit I put read the bible there's something else in there that I really want to have as a, a daily habit that I don't currently do it's just the bible I have to make sure that I read it every day and the one I'm choosing to read it from at the moment is this one because this one I always carry with me wherever I go so there's no excuses so yeah that's the one I'm choosing to read from at the moment and then as for pens I have this is the pen I choose to write in it's the Uniball Eye Micro. Uh, this is the very thinnest one they do. It's like a needle point because it's quite a small planner and I, write, I like to write really small in it. So I wanted a really thin pen. I really like these ones. And then when I've highlighted my tasks for the day, I use the Friction Highlighter. So this is erasable by friction. So you just, if you make a mistake, you just rub off the end and uh, it will erase the highlighter, which is always a comfort knowing that you can get rid of it. So because I needed to carry two pens, I don't want to carry around a whole pencil case and pack. The whole point was I needed to minimize what I'm carrying around with me, but I did need two separate colors. I need one to write in and one to highlight. So yes, I keep it in this pouch. It was purchased separately and these are what they look like. They came in a pouch of like six, I think, or yeah, so I've got all these that I can use somewhere and they'll fit on most size books, which is handy. And I'm just using it to carry around with me because I don't want a whole pencil case and a whole kit to carry. That's the point. I'm trying to minimize things I'm carrying around with me. So that's great for my highlighter. And then this already came with a pen loop for the pen. There are some little bits in the beginning, by the way, that some people enjoy. So I will show that as well. I'm grateful for affirmations. I would put Christ-centered affirmations. Passionate about, what brings me joy, skills. You've got life goals and other things like that. Goals and year at a glance and all that stuff. But I haven't filled any of that in. It also came with stickers at the back. I'm not a big sticker girl, mainly because I'm terrified I'm gonna get addicted. <laughs> I, I have seen what it has done to others and I know, because I'm looking at these, I'm like, oh, they're so nice. So I've used a couple, um, and it's tempting to want more, but I haven't ventured down the sticker route yet, but the option's there. So yeah, it's a perfect, nice little size. It's about the size of my phone, the size of my Bible. It's all perfect 
dinky little package together. And the benefit of carrying them in a pouch is they're just easy to pick up and go, but also it protects them, especially my ribbons. All oh, my ribbons, because I have I I learned the hard way. If I leave the anything, my Bibles, anything on a desk unattended for more than a minute, um, I'm going to lose the ribbons to my cats. Yes, this happened to my white Bible. Yes, my white Bible, my favorite white Bible. I, I literally left for 30 seconds and came back and the ribbon had been gnawed off. So now I have to make sure that everything is cat proof. So I keep um, these in here so I can, I can leave them on their desk and know that they will not be played with or damaged. And yeah, so, so far this system is just working better than this one. Although I do like it, I think this makes a much better desk planner. It's great if it's just sitting there and you don't have to carry it around with you. But yeah, I just keep forgetting to carry it. So it wasn't working as well as this is. This I'm really loving and it's no excuse for me to just grab and go because it fits in my bag perfectly. And this is always with me anyways. So that's the process of my current system. And I hope this has given you some ideas, especially if you're someone who enjoys mixing up your planners regularly. I would definitely go with dateless calendars because then you don't have to worry about changing them up because you know that they're not going to waste. And secondly, if you are on the go and you need something small and compact to take with you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful. Please do leave any thoughts, takeaways, comments you've got in the section below. Are you like me in that you change your planner frequently? If so, what's your current system now? How many times have you changed your planner this year? Be honest and don't be ashamed. It's okay if you've done it multiple times. We get bored sometimes. We just need to mix it up and that's okay. What I struggle with is wasting, which is why I choose to go for dateless options so that there's no waste. So thank you for joining me in this video. Uh, that's it for now. Remember Jesus loves you. Lord willing, I'll speak to you soon. And until then, have a blessed day. Bye.